start in Saturday, April the 7th. Yesterday was opening day at Keeneland, so most of the big horses, the big trainers, big barns have left here. It's more like Calder at Gulfstream, but it's closing weekend and today will be my final day out here before we start the summer season. So, to cash some tickets on the last day and have a great day. Walked in, first thing that happened, cashed my first ticket at Keeneland, my first bet at Keeneland of the season, and I won that, paid $8.80, that was nice. Then I cashed in my Gulfstream points, got back nearly $30, and promptly got this, basically for free. That's nice, Florida Derby long sleeve shirt, off to a good start today. After winning that race at Keeneland, I came right back in the second at Aqueduct. I like number four, Silverette, coming off a troubled debut. Was second that time, went off at two to five. Oh yeah, much the best. Double the bet, scored. And then I went through about a three hour stretch where I could not find the winner's circle. I ran second or third five times before Keeneland in the seventh race, going seven furlongs. I like number 12, Mophead. After running second or third five times, including twice front runners loose on the lead, finally at Keeneland, Mophead sweeps by. Get it? Ten to win. Paid nine eighty. Get back almost fifty bucks. I will do it. Eighth at Aqueduct was the Grade Three Bayshore. I like number one Trini Bird. Got off to an easy lead. Trini Bird still on top, and he's still under a hand ride. Willie Martinez hasn't moved a muscle on him yet. But here comes Wild Heart and Wildcat to try to make a race of it late. A little nudge here for Trini Bird. The lead is three lengths as they come down to the line. Hard and Wildcat, Trini Bird was never challenged. Trini Bird in the Bay Shore. Under a hand ride. Easy pick up. Trini Bird sprints away easy on the lead to win the Grade 3 Bay Shore. Double the bet. Easy pickings. My best of the day at Keeneland, Stephanie's Kenton Julian Leopard continues his poor race riding. Why? Couldn't make up any ground. Maybe that'll make her a better price in the uh, Oaks if she chooses to run against Grace Hall. The ninth and act up was a great one. Booth Memorial. I was all over Jim Best bet at Aqueduct. And here he comes now. The undefeated Jamologist is making a bold run toward the lead on the outside. Myodotis is in between horses and he's battling away. Teeth of the Dog is on the outside of Alpha. Street Life has now gotten within seven lengths of the lead. And that leader is Jamologist. Here comes Alpha after Jamologist and Teeth of the Dog. It is Alpha and Jamologist. They're coming down to the line. It is Alpha who surges. Gemologist comes right back at him, and he has the heart to win the movie. Gemologist at Wood Memorial, a gutsy, courageous win from Pletcher Castellano at Windstar Farm. Triple the bet. Oh, yeah. We'll see him next in Louisville. The eighth at Santa Anita is the grade three of Providencia. I like number one, Lady Shamrock. She looks much best to me. I double the bet on her. She's won three of on two turns. Now by Rama and Lady of Shamrock winding up from last. Lady of Shamrock full of run. Where they're going to go? Going to try to get a run on the inside. Home with down charm and they could not first run. Lady of Shamrock is let loose now. And Lady of Shamrock coming like her more at one from the rail. And Lady of Shamrock scintillating this afternoon. Perfect ride and confident ride. Santa Anita, I like number two, the champion Amazombie. I think he runs him down today in the grade two, Potero Grande.
And the Zombies go up to take on Roman Trek. In behind that, sway away, not going on. And the Zombie, and the Zombie strikes the front. Is this going to be 5,000 for Mike Smith? He's handwriting, but he's handwriting powerfully. And here it is, 5,000 for Mike Smith. Mike Smith and the Zombie, 5,000 for Mike Smith. Second row. Last bet of the day is the 10th at Santa Anita. The American Beauty Stakes out of number four, Belle Royale. I tripled the bet after she won three races in a row in Europe, beating the boys. Belle Royale's got some running to do. She's trying to pick it up now, but Belle Royale ate off them, and then Rose Hill do. They come to the top of the lane. A jealous woman kicks for home. Taken on now by Sweetly Pepper down the center of the track. Gem of Soul, three catches in with a chance. Belle Royale's winding up late. Here comes Belle Royale on the grandstand side, and look at Belle Royale kicking in the last 16. What a performance! Belle Royale, perfectly written by Joel Rosario, never even caught these steps. It's been a real good day out here. A number of winners. I'd like to win, you know, $100 every time. Well, I'll come out here one day later this week, and I will film a wrap up for the Gulfstream meet. But tonight, it's off to see the Florida Panthers. That is the playoff bound Florida Panthers. Woohoo! Broke the oatmeal cookie curse.